friends, and welcome again to another Echocalypse video! So here we are again with another Echocalypse video with another unit release and this is the new upcoming unit which is a tank unit which is a solid one and it's the best tank in the game and it's Taisei and Taisei is based off of the mythological creature or mythological god Wukong which is we see in most games actually and every game now adds a version of Wukong and here she's absolutely perfect I recommend having at least one copy of her or any character that you want to have in the game at least get one copy of them so you can explore their potentials and have all of their links now if you're spending a little bit in the game and you want to max out a Taisei I recommend for you to check out our sponsor for this video App Gallery. Are you ready to take your gaming experience to the next level? Well, I've got some exciting news for you. Let me show you how to install App Gallery and unlock some exclusive perks. First things first, let's get you set up with App Gallery. Here's how to do it. Whether you're on Android or using an emulator, head over to your device app store and search for App Gallery. Once you find it, hit that install button and let's get started. Next up, you'll want to make sure that you have the latest HMS Core installed. Don't worry, it's just as easy. Head back to your app store and search for HMS Core. Once you locate it, hit that install button and you're right on track. But wait, before you jump into the gaming fun, create your Huawei ID if you haven't already. When setting up your account, make sure to select the EU region in the settings. Now that you're all set up, let me introduce you to the Echocalypse campaign. Here's what you get. An exclusive free gift code await you in the campaign page and get a fantastic 15% back in Huawei points on all your in-game purchases, meaning for every euro you spend, you'll earn a Huawei point. So spend 100 euros and you'll receive 15 euros back in Huawei points, ready to enhance your gaming experience. And don't forget about the VIP program. With this, you can score up to 1,620 euros in discount coupons every month. Plus, if you spend more than 500 euros, you can claim your first coupon of 50 euros right away. So, what are you waiting for? It's time to dive into the world of Echocalypse and start reaping those rewards. Simply delete your current game and download Echocalypse from App Gallery and you're all set up. Don't worry, you can keep all the progress with GT Arcade or Facebook Plus and you can pay with PayPal for added convenience. The cashback offer in Huawei points will automatically appear in the payment page so you can enjoy your discount hassle-free. And lastly, a big thank you for App Gallery for sponsoring this video. Now, let's head into our cases to check Taisei or Taisei. Taisei is not yet in the game as in summoning, so you can't have her until uh, the reset or tomorrow uh, with the reset or with the update. She's a tank defensive clone, and this is absolutely fantastic for her. It means she doesn't need to taunt with her ability, but her clones will be a must target from the enemy. It means when you have her clones, your lineup will not take damage, but the clones will take the damage until they are defeated, then the rest of the lineup or her or anybody else will be targeted. We'll be talking about that and explaining all of her kit. First of all, let's talk about her uh, links and her links are absolutely amazing. She's a tank unit and she's supposed to be built on an HP set because she's the most one to benefit from HP and her clones benefits on HP. So if you have Kiki and Zawa, should you increase her HP by 25% immediately, which is absolutely magnificent. She will increase her armor by 18%, which means she will take less physical damage. With Ferentia, she will uh, increase her HP by 18%, absolutely amazing. And with Neftis, she will increase her resistance by 18%. It means magical damage will be decreased for her, which is also good for her so, so she survives so she gains hp she gains armor and resistance to negate physical damage and magical damage from every single unit now her artifice and when you get her to seven stars every star will come with the stat with one star you're gonna get hit rate then damage bonus 25 percent block 30 percent block strength 30 percent pierce 35 percent crit resistance 35 percent and damage reduction 40 percent which is absolutely fantastic now her passives is absolutely good because it synergizes with her kit and with her lineups. So the first passive, and if you have her at one star, so she will give East Rise team members HP equal to 10%, which is absolutely crazy, even if she's not deployed. And she will get armor, which will make the physical damage get less, perc uh, less percentage at four stars, I think, and at six stars, attack to all of your team which is really really nice so let's start talking about her basic skills and we start with her passive skill or her auto attack deals 88 percent physical damage to a single enemy row 
and restores one magic hair, gains 15% dodge with the magic hair, this effect can stack. So the more hair that she has, she will have more dodge. And you will see that you need to build her on substats with HP and dodge as much as possible and forget about everything else. Try to build her on dodge and HP. We'll be seeing how much HP is effective and how much she stacks up with dodge, specifically when she have this magic hair and she will have a lot of them. So at zero stars, this is it. At four stars, it goes to 106% physical damage. She stays at one hair and the dodge rate will never change it at 15% with every hair that she has. Now, let's talk about her passive then come to, uh, to her ultimate because her passive is what defines her. So her passive, so she carries two hair with her. At the start of each round, it sh if she owns three or more magic hair, she will turn them into clones lasting for one round. And if you get her to augment six, which everybody will have, she will carry three magic hair at the start of the battle. If she possesses no magic hair at the end of each round, she will immediately gain one magic hair back. So it will all she will have always this dodge rate, which will keep you always safe and dodge if she dodges even if it's one percent and it triggers this dodge will remove all the damage taken so if an enemy hit you and you dodge you will not take any kind of damage at the start of each round if she owns three or more, more magic hair she will use them to get one clone when summoning clones for the first time increase ally damage reduction by 10 percent for one round so every time she get a clone out for the first time she gives you this uh, damage reduction and attack boost by 10% for one round, which is absolutely perfect. Now let's talk about her ultimate. So she deals 179% physical damage to an enemy rule. She plucks magic hair from her body, transform them into clones. A clones last for one round, only one round, but she can do that every time that she has three hairs or when she does her ultimate. So when she does her ultimate, she will get a clone. When she has three hairs, she will get a clone. Clones have different effects based on amount of hair magic spent on transformation. So at one hair has a 15% of Taisei max HP. When Taisei takes direct damage, her clone tank the damage first. It's only protecting her if she has one hair. Okay, when she has two hair, has 50% of Taisei max HP. When Taisei or her nearby allies, nearby allies, take direct damage, her clones tank the damage first. What does uh, uh, nearby allies mean it means when her lineup on the same line on the same lineup the, the units that are f with her so if she's on the lineup on the front on the tanking position or on the main lineup but on the front and there's two units beside her these two units will be the ones that will be protected by uh, the clone if she's on the back line the back line units with her will be the ones that are protected this is what nearby sees uh, or, or means on, and when she have three hair and she gets a clone, has a 75% of Taisei max HP, which is a tanky, really tanky one. When Taisei or her nearby allies take direct damage, her clones will tank the damage first, which will mitigate the damage as well and will be a little bit better. So you need her to get a clone at least with three stars and with every ultimate, if she has one star or uh, one hair or two hair, she will be getting those tanks also on the battle for one round now on three stars and this is where it changes a little bit so it's the same things but the numbers goes more and more so but she has something else so get clones for one round and grants allies 50 percent chance to dodge one attack for two rounds 50 percent chance is absolutely great it's super effective on your lineup all your lineup all your allies will have a 50 percent chance to dodge one attack but this uh, this buff that you will have is for two rounds. So if you didn't get attack this round and you got attack the second round, she still carries this 50% on your lineup, which is absolutely good. Now magic hair transformation. Now the first clone will be having 21%, the second one 70%, 90% for the uh, second one has 90% of Taisei max HP and 20% dodge rate. It means this clone can dodge damage from a unit and take damage from another unit, which is absolutely good actually. And when Taisei and or her nearby allies take damage, her clones tank the damage absolutely perfect now at seven stars her damage will increase of course and she will grant allies 100 chance to dodge one attack for two rounds it means if an enemy attack you the first attack will be negated because of the dodge 
and the second attack you still uh, you will start taking damage unless she will have the clones now of course her first clone will have 30 percent of her max hp and then the second clone will have 100 percent of her max hp it means another unit or another clone or another version of her so it will have all of her hp will take a lot of damage so this is why you need to build her on max hp as much as possible now the third one which is absolutely crazy now she will have 150 percent of her max hp on that clone which means it's almost her full hp and half of it an addition also for that clone which will be super tanky at least they will not get her defense or resistance or whatever they will get only her hp which will make them a dummy actually to take damage which is absolutely great as well and 50 percent dodge rate which means they will dodge if they take an attack so imagine they take an attack they dodge it they take another attack they dodge it with your uh, rng this could be absolutely crazy when taisei uh, and her nearby allies take damage her clones will take the damage first an absolute monster of a tank in my opinion that's really really great now let's go and check her leisure center upgrades so we're gonna go to the complex to the leisure center and go to this tree so in the bottom left, we have the fire beacon and we have uh, Taisei and Taisei is here and we're gonna get her activate which is somersault cloud and what does this have? Now, if you unlock it immediately, when a clone reaches 0 HP for the first time, Ta Taisei recovers 1 rage and prevent the enemy case with the highest accumulated damage from recovering rage for 2 rounds. So it means the enemies will not recover rage for two rounds with her and she recovers one rage. Now she gets two rage back if you get her to level 15, level 15, which is easy actually to get because you have these two units that we always have. They're free to play Yangling and uh, Dawson and you will get them. At least I have them at 25 right now. So at 25, what does it give me? It gives me the plus 15 and if you have Taisei and you get her to plus 10 you're gonna get to at least 30 then go to 35 which will be the most critical one i think that the plus 30 is the critical one we'll be talking about that and if you max her out to 90 let's talk about that when the clone reaches zero hp for the first time Taisei recovers four rage immediately four rage it means she can ult the next turn and she will get another clone down in the battle it means she will always constantly she doesn't need any help from anybody else to get rage she will always constantly be at four percent or four rage every single round because the 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 clones will tank they will take a lot of damage and this is really helpful also against bossing to protect your lineup it recovers for rage and prevents the enemy case with the highest accumulated damage it means if somebody like Aiken is fighting you and deals a lot of damage, they will suffer and they will not accumulate rage anymore. So from recovering uh, rage and suffers 50% damage reduction for two rounds. It means they will deal 50% less damage. This is what the damage reduction means, which is absolutely fantastic. It's for two rounds. Two rounds is huge. If one round was OP, two rounds is huge. This is what makes her a more tanky and protective toward her lineup. So she's a unit that, in my opinion, she's a must-have. Now let's go and check out her vibration arms. So, Golden Cudgel. Let's go and read her skills. So, when clones expire, deals physical damage equal to 75% of Taisei's attack to all enemies. So her attack will not be useless if you have attack built on her or if you have any type of set. If you're building an attack set on her, which is wrong, don't do that. But if you have attack on her, her attack will be like, oh, is she only for auto attacking or her ultimate does this amount of damage? No, actually with her weapon, you will deal all damages to her. So when a clone expires, it doesn't only die, it just expires. So if it dies or if it expires, you will deal damage to all enemies. It means if they kill your clones to kill the uh, lineup, they will take damage. If they don't kill your clones, they will not be able to kill your lineup and you will deal even more damage, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, at three stars, it becomes interesting because at three stars, at the start of the battle, Taisei gains a shield equal to 20% of her max HP. If you have the weapon on three stars, she will gain a sh shield by herself. It means she doesn't need a shielder. She doesn't even need a healer. She doesn't need anybody on her lineup. She needs only to be built on dodge, on max HP, and have her weapon at three stars. And she's already happy, already standing there, fighting alone, 
trying to protect all of your lineup and it goes crazier if you want to go and check it it will deal damage equal to 150 percent of her max hp if you max it to five stars and she will gain a shield equal to 30 percent of her max hp which is absolutely crazy this is why we're talking about max hp all the time on her the set that you need to build her on is the set of the golden one if we go and check my lineup i have a match i have a set like this if i want to change my leader if you i don't want to play stuns or whatever this is as free to play you're gonna get the leader at seven stars this is why he's the most built for me hp set will give her a lot of attack boost a lot of everything else so if we check the stats of the set she will get flat hp then eight percent hp bonus then block then dodge which was absolutely fantastic for her as a tank to have all of these stats now one more thing if you want to build her up even more crazier you can go and use her chimeras now on the chimera you want to get her as much as possible with max hp so here i don't have but i have dodge so if you have substat with transmuting the, your uh, chimera or you're refining your chim chimera you want something as this dodge here and dodge here the more dodge that you have a block resistance whatever it's hp and dodge is the most thing that you want to build her on dodging will help her a lot she will have passively dodging and she will increase her dodging by her own passives and her own skills and max hp will help her a lot if you have anything else to benefit with max hp let's see hp bonus 20.8 percent which is absolutely crazy on her if you want to use her and get these substats so re-rolling for your substats and doing desperate operation to max out this unit will be most handful and that was it for our review for uh, Taisei. Let me know your uh, in the comments uh, section. What do you think about her? Are you gonna summon for her? Are you gonna build her? And thank you again for App Gallery for sponsoring this video. All the links are down in the description to go and check them and how to download and how to install App Gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.